All right, in Numbers 20 through 24, or that's actually 20 through 23, we need to simplify each of these expressions where we have i to some exponent. Before we start doing these, um, let's just review a couple things that will be helpful. We know i squared equals negative 1. This is really the only thing you need to memorize, because if you understand this, you can come up with the answers to any of these, regardless of what the exponent is. Let's start by looking at <clears throat> i to the fifth. So number 20. If we had broken this up into i squared, so we have i squared, another i squared, that gives us i to the fourth. We need one more i in order to make this equivalent to i to the fifth. So we have i to the fourth times i. <clears throat> if we simplified this, we know i squared times i squared is negative one times negative one. Negative one times negative one is positive one. So I'm going to say that i to the fourth is equal to one. Which makes this really simple, because if i to the fourth is equal to 1, then my answer is just 1 times i, which is equal to i. <clears throat> so let's use this right here. The fact that i to the fourth is equal to 1 is really helpful, because 1 is a really nice number to deal with. So for example, let's look at 21 and see how that can help us, the fact that i to the fourth is equal to 1. So on 21, we have i to the 41. <clears throat> let's see if we can split it up into i to the fourths. Instead of splitting it into i squareds, it'll be a little faster if we can split it up into i to the fourths. So i to the fourth goes into i to the 41 10 times. 4 goes into 41 10 times. So we have i to the 40th, okay, multiply exponents because of the power property, we still have one more left. i to the 40th, we need one more i. And what makes this really easy now is that we just decided here that i to the 4th equals 1. So 1 to the 10th is just equal to 1 times i. So i to the 41 is also equal to i. Okay, number 22, we have i to the 10th. Let's do it the same way we did this one. So i to the 4th, the number of times it goes into i to the 10th would be twice. This gives us i to the 8th, but then we have two more i's left. So we need two more i's, i squared. And again, this is just equal to 1. So 1 squared, which is 1, times... <coughs> i squared, so that gives us 1 times i squared is equal to negative 1. So negative 1 is our answer. Lastly, we have i to the 16th on number 23. Okay, let's use i to the 4th again to our benefit. So i to the 16th. Let's decide how many times does i to the 4th go into i to the 16th. Well, it goes in evenly this time. So i to the 4th to the 4th would give us i to the 16th. And again, we know i to the 4th is equal to 1. 1 to the 4th is simply just 1. <clears throat> so i to the 16th is equal to positive 1. When you do these problems, there are only four possible answers. 1, negative 1, i, or the fourth possibility would be negative i.